Is Dominic and today we're going to be adding an after after pay to a Shopify store, which is a pretty simple process. Obviously, you have to go to Afterpay first uh, and sign up and request access. Um, but they've emailed my client here that we're uh, on their website, um, and we're going to get it set up for them. So it's pretty simple. The first thing you want to do is you want to go down to settings in the bottom left hand corner from the home page. You want to go into general. And the main things that Afterpay want to make sure about is that your store address is correct and that your store currency is correct. That's because um, Afterpay is available in more countries than just Australia. It's also available, I believe, in New Zealand uh, and um, most of North America. Um, so depending on where you have it is the best, uh, well, depending on where your store is located is key to checking the right payment provider. Then we want to go down to settings again. We just want to go to payments. Now that we're in payments, we want to go to choose an alternative payment method. Now, uh, if you go into third party, you'll find it's missing. So you definitely have to go into alternative. And you just want to search for Afterpay, which is actually right there. We don't need to type it. So let's click on that. And then you, we need to put our merchant ID and our secret key. So I'm going to put these in and then I'm going to click uh, activate Afterpay. And you want to make sure that enable test mode is not clicked on. Now that we've done that, if you want to add Afterpay uh, messaging, which is basically you'll see here, as you can see, you'll have your product and then below your product, you'll have uh, the Afterpay and uh, that'll explain how much it's worth. It's pretty simple as well. So all you have to do is go onto the email that they sent you should have one of these codes. So you just copy that to clipboard. And then the first step we wanna go to is we wanna go into our theme and we wanna go into uh, the edit code section. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're on here and we're just going to go to theme, go to our online store. We're on themes here. Then once that's loaded, we want to click on actions and go down to edit code. We then want to look for theme liquid, which is this one here. And we simply just want to scroll down to the very bottom of that where it says one, one, one. We just want to paste this. Once we've done that, we just want to press save. Now that it's saved, we want to go and actually make sure that it's worked. So let's click on the uh, eyelid button here on the online store. As you can see, we are on the product page now. So we want to look for a product that isn't sold out. And as you can see here, we've got the afterpay symbol here. So it's worked well. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helped.